what can machines do better in the knowledge age? Well, they show us new ways of doing things. They explore the possibilities and they show us new ways of doing so. We can say like, okay, how can you solve this equation? Um, we saw before you can solve it this way or you can solve it that way and we can give it also you know, more intricate problems, how to solve the world problems. And we humans also do that, the homo sapiens, the homo sapiens, sapiens, of course. Uh, well, some of us do it and we put them on a pedestal, right? When, when, when they create new ways of doing it. Copernicus and Newton have showed us new ways of looking at the universe. George Washington and the, the founders, the founding fathers here in America of the French Revolution showed us a new way of organizing society through democracy, representative democracy. Ada Lovelace showed us how to program a computer. And Darwin, Edison, Marie Curie, Henry Ford, Albert Einstein, these are all people that showed us a new way of doing things. And we put them on a pedestal because then the rest of us is like, oh yeah, Henry Ford, that's how you can organize that. Oh yeah, Edison. Oh, that's how you make light of electricity. It's a light bulb. Now we can all do that. Thank you for showing us a new way of doing things. But it's been far in between. These of us that show us new ways of doing things. So what happens now in the artificial intelligence age is that this becomes the focus. Figuring out, puzzle solving, of new ways of doing things. And what that means is that the knowledge process becomes to a certain degree commodified. It becomes a commodity. We automated that thing. 